Good day, you guys, and welcome back to another mukbang with the Ralphies today. I'm out and about today, you guys. I have a lot of stuff to do this afternoon, and so it's lunchtime right now. So I thought I would stop by with you guys and have some lunch. I'm having a toasted tomato sandwich, as you can see, with some mayonnaise. Have a bit of pink Himalayan salt on my tomato, and I have some marble cheese on the side. See the mayonnaise and tomatoes? Good stuff. And for my dessert, guess what I'm having? Do you guys know? You probably don't know. Nah. Oh yeah, and I have some celery. Plus, I'm having some grapes for my dessert. And of course, I'm just having water today. Yeah. So we're going to let the eating begin. There's this guy here cleaning the pavement right where I had to park. <laughs> It's so funny. So I have to go today and I have to get, um, I have to go to another dentist. I went back to my former dentist yesterday, hoping to see her again because she is the one that I seen a couple years ago. But that being said, they tell me she's moved back to her hometown. Therefore, I need a new dentist. So, I'm out today, I have a list of dentists, and I'm very, very picky. I guess most people would, maybe. But, um, like, with all due respect, I don't want a dentist. I don't want a dentist that has been practicing for, like, two or three years. I'm so sorry. No. Hmm. so good you guys there's nothing like a toasted tomato sandwich with cheese on the side um I usually have like cheesies or potato chips or something on the side to go with my tomato sandwich or any kind of sandwich but I just feel like I can't eat chips with every meal you know what I mean I'm trying I'm wanting to start watching what I'm eating but I still want to have junk food here and there I don't want to be eating too healthy like all the time where I'm gonna get bored of it but I don't want to be eating junk and deep fried food all the time either I'm gonna be climbing up and gaining all kinds of weight so anyway just not having chips today with my sandwich Mm. So good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So hot right now you guys it's like almost 20 degrees and for right here where I'm living that's a big deal that's why I'm out with like a little tiny shirt on yeah mm. if you've never ever had a toasted tomato sandwich you need to try it celery mm. Celery is so good too, right? I have to like wolf this down because I have so many things to do. 
I don't even get time to really enjoy it. I'm like Daryl today. Just suck it in. Mm. Oh my god, you guys. If you never ever had a toasted tomato sandwich, you need to get on it. So good. On sourdough bread. Oh my god. So yummy. More celery. Oh, it's so warm. I have my window down. It's so, so warm. So good. Mm. How do you guys like to dress up your celery? What do you do with it? I mean, I use my celery for cooking, for stews, any kind of meat dish, really, for snacking. Sometimes a little bit of cheese on it or ranch. Just salt and pepper is good. Last bite. We'll call this the last bite. Oh, yummy. Mm. Wow. Mmm. Wow. Yum, yum, yum. One more piece of celery. Water time. Hmm. You know, again, for dessert, I was going to take the chocolate chip cookies or something like that. And I thought, you know what? No, Nadine. Try to have a healthy day today. Seriously. Yeah. And it's not very often I have to talk to myself like that. But. Some days, you know, when you're feeling a little bit more unhealthy than healthy, you have to talk like that to yourself, in my opinion. I have to with me anyway. Mm -hmm. Now comes the best part. Grapes. Yeah, baby. God, grapes and cheese, so good. I have one piece of cheese left. Mm.
So, this afternoon, in between running around and looking for another dentist, I have to stop at the Korean market, pick up a couple items to do a recipe. Within the next couple days, I'm so excited to do this recipe, you guys. Mm. Mm. You know something else really cool to do with grapes? I had this done when I was a kid. I went to a friend's house one time. And we went to go get a snack. She went up into the freezer and she didn't tell me what she was getting. And I said, what are you doing? What are you getting? It's a surprise. And I thought, okay. So she pulls from the freezer. Frozen grapes. And I was like never even thought of it yeah they're good too I can't believe I had to go find another dentist. I'm kind of nervous about this because when you had a dentist for some time and you know how he or she treats you and what the mannerisms are like and all this, it's all good. When it comes down to the crunch like this, like you come to learn that, you know, your dentist moved away. You're back at square one, right? And I want a dentist that's been practicing for about 20 years. For real. That's just my thoughts. It's just my opinion. But I feel more comfortable going to a dentist that has been practicing for a nice time, nice amount of time. See? I'm so preoccupied thinking about I have to go find a dentist and where am I going to get him? What's he going to be like? I forgot about my cheese. Shame on me. Mmm. Glad you can never go wrong with grapes and cheese, man. Mm. Mm. So that was a healthy lunch today, was it not? Of course it was. That was so healthy. A toasted tomato sandwich with some cheese on the side, celery, and some grapes for dessert. So 
wood, right? Amazing. So this wraps up another mukbang, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the show today. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, we'll catch you back here on the Ralphies. Have a great day, everybody.